Hello, welcome to Presentation Perfect. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a simple morph map animation. First, download and import your map. Go to simplemaps.com and download an SVG map of your choice. For this tutorial, I'll be using a map of Japan. Once downloaded, import the map into your slides. Simply drag and drop it on the slide. Select the map, hold down shift and resize it by dragging the corners. Drag the map to the right hand side of the slide. Select the map. Under graphics format, click on convert to shape. Now your map is editable. Select the whole map by pressing Ctrl A and Ctrl G to group. Go to shape fill and outline and pick your colors. To create the population data point, draw a rounded rectangle, right click and select the shape fill and outline color. Enter the name of the region. To increase the font size, select the text and click on this A icon. Enter the population number, increase the size and give it the same color as the rectangle. To insert a line underneath, click on a point you want to start from, hold down shift and drag. Now, add the text, population under it. Select the text, go to character spacing and set it to very loose. Select the data point and bring it outside of the screen so it smoothly makes an entrance on the next slide. Select the slide and hit Ctrl D or right click and select duplicate. Bring the data point back into the same position on the slide. Double click on the region you want highlighted, right click and change the shape color and outline. Then select the map, hit Ctrl plus shift and drag the corner to increase the size of the map. Bring the region down and position it on the slide. Now go to transition and select more. You can change the duration of the transition from here. Click this star icon or select preview to play the transition. Select the slide, hit Ctrl D and edit the region name and population. Then change the color of the shape and text. Move the map to the selected region. Double click and give it a color. Make sure to change the color of the previous region before highlighting the next one. This time, we will choose a different morph effect. Go to Transitions, Effect Options, Select Characters. Now you can simply repeat the process for the other regions. Let's go ahead and play our morph map 